I'm Georgia Jean and welcome to uh, our next video in this intention portal. I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is this is the last video Woo! for this series anyway. <laughs> but the good news is I'm going to be giving you something so powerful it's going to blow your mind. Okay, and this technique is actually one of the techniques that I used with Vicki Barbalak right before she went on TV, national television, and won the Funniest Mum in America competition. Um, we used a technique very similar to this. I have an even more in-depth version of it now, but I'm going to give you the basics in this video um, so you can use it as well. This is, this is one for where you're really reaching out, out of your box and going for something something big and whatever that is for you look it could just be a bigger paycheck <laughs> but where you are moving yourself beyond your known zone and going for something um, that you really really want because that's what this is all about creating powerfully for yourself and holding that vision for the world at large 2012 woo -woo. <laughs> this is the year to come into your mastery it's very exciting and I really hope from this series of videos that you're starting to deeply appreciate yourself as an energetic being. I'm hoping that you're starting to feel into yourself, feel where you're holding energy, learning how to unlock it, learning how to be with it so it releases and becomes that powerful soul energy that works in really miraculous ways. That's the thing about the soul energy compared to the mind intention. The mind intention operates within the parameters and the belief structures of the mind. When you get out of the mind, you allow the soul to work. And the soul works in ways beyond how the mind can imagine or anticipate. And that's when the really cool kind of miraculous stuff happens. Um, the synchronicities, the magic, the stuff that really makes life feel fun and makes it feel like you're in the flow of things. So, um, before I get to this technique, I do want to say I have created some very special packages for those of you who are really ready to like commit to your manifesting power this year. I've created some um, packages. You can read about them below. I don't want to waste time here on the video with them. But they're really awesome, and I really hope that uh, for those of you who are connecting with this material, you'll make an investment in yourself and in the work that you're going to do with me so you can achieve and manifest and reach all those dreams and goals and desires that you've been generating on. This is the year. This is the year to come into your mastery. It's very exciting. <laughs> all right, but now I'm going to give you this technique. So what this one is really about is coming, coming into oneness with what you want to manifest because often what happens is when you think of something you want there you are and you're like okay I want to whatever it is I want to have a multi-billion dollar business okay that sounds good so what happens is there you are you start generating and manifesting and thinking about that but what happens is you put that version of you that has achieved that that dream or goal or desire up on a pedestal oh no okay you start to think that you when you reach this place up here is somehow going to be better or more awesome than who you are right now and you place yourself that version of you up on a pedestal and guess what you are not a vibrational match with that experience if that experience is up on a pedestal and all the things that you believe sort of uh, you need to do or accomplish or achieve or the people you need to connect with they all start creating energy around this pedestal making it this thing that is out of alignment whoopsie with who you are right now and so what you want to do is you've got to learn how to bring yourself up to being on the same wavelength 
same vibrational range as the you living in the experience that you want. And I'm going to give you a technique that's so simple. It's, but it's what most people fail to do with this manifesting stuff is they fail to look at who this version of you is, is, are, what does this person have that you don't think you have now? Okay, because maybe it's you think you're prettier. <laughs> maybe you think you're more popular. Maybe you think you're going to be more powerful. Maybe you're going to, you think you're going to be more lovable. All of that stuff. Maybe you just think you'll be happier. Maybe you'll be more at peace than where you are now. And that's all the stuff that puts this version of you up on a pedestal. And what you have to do is you have to reclaim that energy that's around those ideas of who this person is back to you now, right? Because in order to get from here to here, you've got to hold that vibration in your, in your being, in your energy field, in your thinking, in your consciousness, whatever you want to call it. If it's always out there in the future on top or above you, you never get into vibrational alignment. So what you've got to do is you've got to look at what has this version of you got that you don't have now? And then very simply pull back, see it like balls of energy, pull back the energy around those concepts and bring it back into you. And you literally visualize it like balls of light or energy coming off this version of you, this fabulous, successful, <laughs> powerful, you know, gorgeous, whatever it is you think, got that fabulous, the chicks and the car and <laughs> it doesn't even matter if it's not deep. It's the energy that you're putting around this projection of you that's making it bigger or better or more powerful. It doesn't, you know, whatever it is that you think you're going to save the world, you know, you got the best skin on the planet, doesn't matter. This is all energy that you're giving to this version of you and you're not giving it to yourself. So you want to pull it back, literally identify the qualities that you see that that version of you has and pull it back into you now. And if you're energy sensitive, you're actually going to feel it as energy come back into you and you're going to start vibrating and resonating at that level now, right? Because you only want this thing because you think it's going to, you know, it's got some meaning, you think it's going to make you happier. When you pull all that energy back off that future version of you that's got that thing that you don't think you have now and you bring the energy of that into you now, well, I tell you what, for starters, you're going to start feeling way more awesome <laughs> because all your energy is here with you now, filling you up now, 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 You're vibrating at it now. It's almost like you don't even need that thing to feel as good as you're feeling now. And that's when you release attachment. And when you release attachment to that goal, that, my friends, is when you've hit the sweet spot of manifesting. Because when you're vibrating in it now and you're feeling it now, you don't need that. Sure, it'd be nice to have it, but you don't need it. And that is the difference. That's the sweet spot of manifesting. And that's the big secret that most people miss. They keep thinking that that version of themselves is going to be better than how they're feeling about themselves now. You can't get there that way. you got to feel it in you now, now, now. And then it's like, yeah, that's going to be really cool when I win my Oscar. <laughs> that's going to be really cool when I've got that fabulous car. But you don't need it because need is coming from that lack place. This way it's just like, yeah, I'm at the buffet of life and I'm enjoying everything that's got to offer. <laughs> so let's make 2012 your buffet of life. Own your power now, 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 now. Even what do you visualize for this, for this planet in 2012? Hold that energy in you now because that's how you're going to be the way shower for people who want to raise their vibration to manifest um, something amazing in this life and in this planet and, this, and in this world. So um, that's a big one. 
Don't be fooled by how simple any of this stuff is. Remember, the mind wants to keep it complicated because the mind considers the soul the enemy. So appreciate the simplicity. Start manifesting. Write to me. Tell me what you've got going on. And please consider uh, working with me. I've got so much great uh, stuff to help you with. And you're going to learn tools like this in such a deep way. It's going to become part of your nature. And uh, bam, things are just going to start happening, just like they did for my friend when she won. Nick at Night's Funniest Mum in America. Woo! -hoo! Yay, Vicky Barberlack. All right, everybody, this has been so much fun. Thank you. And stay connected with me on circleevolution.com.